Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so, so excited to be showing you guys how I created this right here. It's definitely a simple beat, but everything on my face is drugstore. And I'm so excited to be showing you guys which products I use and which steps and ways I got my skin to look so flawless, full coverage, and I feel like it's really gonna last throughout the day. And I picked up all these products at Walgreens. And yeah, I'm not gonna keep rambling. If you would like to see I created this full coverage beat face from the drugstore, then keep on watching. I already went in with the CoverGirl Smooth Priming Primer, and then I went ahead and paired it with the Infallible Matte Lock Primer. So next I'm going to be going in with this Olay Mist Ultimate Hydration Essence, and this is the energizing one. This has vitamin C and bergamot in it. They had another one, and that was a calming one, and that one had aloe vera in it, and there was another something in it. But I'm trying this because I saw Aaliyah using this, Aaliyah's face if you watch her on YouTube or if you follow her, and she, I believe, said that Jackie had put her onto this, Jackiana, and whatever Jackie says kind of goes, and yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and spray this all over my face. Oh, that feels so good and refreshing and it smells like it's giving you energy <laughs> all right so for foundations I'm going to be going in with the new L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear and I wanted to this is the reason why I decided to do a drugstore tutorial because I feel like I haven't done one in a little bit and I really wanted to try these foundations because I haven't tried a drugstore foundation in a while. So I wanted to go ahead and give it a try. So I went ahead and picked up two shades. And the darker shade is in the shade 500 Honey Bisque. And then this next one, the lighter shade I have is 480 Radiant Sun. And they, I didn't see my perfect shade, so that's why I had to mix. But I normally always have to mix in my foundations. So I'm going to see how these ones go on my skin. See, this one is definitely too orange and too dark for me, but that's why I have the lighter shade so I can go ahead and mix these two because the shade range in there, there was a decent amount, but I just couldn't find my color, so hopefully these two together will kind of give me my shade. So, one thing I can say about this foundation it's definitely very liquidy so I'm going to be taking my Juno sponge and this isn't a drugstore sponge but this is super affordable it's like six dollars and I haven't used this on my channel yet so I thought why not use it since it is affordable and this is a drugstore makeup tutorial so hopefully I get my shade here Alright, so this is the first layer on my skin, and this shade right here, these two colors together give me a pretty decent match. This definitely gives you skin-like um, look to your look to your skin, and it definitely gives you kind of like an airbrush look, and it looks like it's semi-matte, but not like super dewy, not super matte. So I like full coverage, and I'm going to go ahead and add just a few more pumps to see if I can build it up. And another thing I can say, it does have a little bit of a fragrance to it, which I'm not really a big fan of because that can kind of be a bad thing when doing makeup. You just gotta be careful it doesn't like break you out. Okay, so this foundation is definitely buildable. I did get a bit more coverage for sure. And I can tell that I got more coverage because I have these beauty marks on my face and they're not so visible anymore. So that's how I can always tell that. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to concealer. And for today's concealer, I'm going to be using this Rimmel Stay Matte Full Coverage Concealer. So we're gonna see if this concealer is full coverage and I'm using the shade Warm Ivory. Hopefully it's not too light or not too dark and hopefully it is full coverage. 
I probably could have used a shade up, but we will make this work. And so far, it kind of is giving me that sheer look, because normally when I do concealers, it like, once I apply it to my skin, it doesn't give me like any streaks or like see through it. Or kind of be transparent and this one's giving me that so I'm just gonna kind of add a lot I definitely could have used shade lighter but I think I have another drugstore concealer if I need to so of course I'm gonna go ahead and just let it kind of sit on my skin so I can make sure it gets that full coverage all right so I'm going to take my Juno sponge again to blend the concealer in Wow. So the coverage on that definitely is a full coverage. Like for sure. That definitely gave me full coverage. Okay. Okay, Rimmel. That is my first like Rimmel product I think I've ever used like foundation, concealer skin wise. I'm impressed. I went ahead and did my eyebrows. I didn't get it. I didn't pick up a new eyebrow pencil just because it's just the eyebrows and I really am not into trying to find a different shade or anything new for the eyebrows just because of the eyebrows. <laughs> so I'm going in with the Infallible Longwear Shaping Foundation Stick and this is in the shade 409 Honey. And I'm using this for my cream contour. It was really buttery and smooth when I applied it on my skin like that. And I'm taking my favorite brush from e.l.f. and this is the Foundation Blurring Brush. Okay, so I went ahead and blended that out and I really like this shade. You guys know I love like an orangey type of bronzy shade for my cream contours and even my powder contour in general so I want to go ahead and brighten up the under eye just a little bit so I'm going to take the Maybelline instant rewind concealer I'm sure you guys have seen this concealer plenty of times on YouTube I've even used it on my channel and I'm just going to highlight just a little bit and this is in the shade sand sable I'm just gonna take my same sponge again all right, so that went ahead and brightened it just the perfect amount of brightness that I wanted. So now I want to go ahead and take this um, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Halo Liquid Highlighter. I meant to apply this to my skin once I, once I was prepping it in the beginning, but I forgot. So now I'm just going to take it and place it on my cheek area and nose. Kind of right there in the chin too and then I'm just going to take the bottom of my sponge to kind of press it into the skin oh that's really pretty so I didn't find another setting powder that I felt comfortable even using and showing you guys I tried to look for the Milani um banana powder but in my stores around here they didn't have it they only had it online and i'm trying to get this video done now for you guys so i'm just going to use the maybelline fit me powder this used to be my holy grail setting powder and this is in the shade light medium and i'm looking at it it looks a little dark to be honest so hopefully this is my shade <laughs> i'm just gonna spray my sponge I like for my powders to be very, to really just seep into the skin. So I want to go ahead and make sure I get all creasing. Although there really wasn't too much creasing. I'm nervous because this seems, okay. I thought it was going to be too dark. <laughs> I just realized that I did not cream contour my nose but that's okay 
that's okay. Just taking my brush now to go ahead and buff this powder into my skin. Right now, my skin is looking flawless, you guys. Like, I forgot how good this powder was. Like, it's actually... <laughs> Wow, my skin is looking flawless, sis. So now I need to go in with a powder contour, and I'm taking this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Um, this is actually, I believe, a foundation powder, I think. And I am just using it as a bronzing shade, and I'm going in with the shade 360 Mocha. And I wanted to show you guys how you guys can still see the glow from the liquid highlighter after I've already set my face with the powder. So that's, that's impressive. Okay, so now I need to go in with blush and I'm super excited about this blush because it really caught my eye and I was like, ooh, I love the color. This is a L'Oreal um, blush and this is the Paradise Enchanted, ooh, it's scented. It smells like grease. Um, <laughs> Um, thought it would smell like peaches, but it smells like grease. <laughs> so this shade, so the name of it is Enchanting. Or is it Paradise Enchanted? Honestly, I don't know. But this is what the shade looks like, and y'all know I love, y'all know I love a peach blush in this. I'm excited. Oh, yes my type of blush. I'm just taking my bronzing brush again to make sure I wipe away any powder. That blush and my skin, y'all. Drugstore? Let me find out. I get so I get so excited with drugstore products because it's just so affordable and you can have a beat face for a very inexpensive price. So I need to go ahead and spray my face and set in all of these powders and creams and all the products that I have on my face. So I'm going to go back in with the Olay Mist. I think I completely missed my face the first time. Oh, my skin, y'all. Sis. Where the pores? Where they at? I don't see them. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna move on to eyes. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. I'm going to be using this Maybelline eyeshadow palette. This is the Lemonade Craze. Oh, I never opened this. I already have this palette. I never opened it. I thought this was supposed to smell, but not really. I'm going to be going in with this shade right down here, and that is called Sweet Tea. So I feel so good right now because I've been so consistent and it just feels so good like oh my gosh I really hope I get I have this energy and drive for a very long time because I said this year of 2019 there's no excuses there's no being lazy there's no nothing there is money to be made and I am not missing no money that is going, that's to be made, that comes my way, that can come my way. Like, no, not happening. And that goes for any of y'all watching right now. Get up, get your money, don't be lazy. It's a new year, brand new. Like you can start today, right now, and it, it's okay. If you didn't start at the beginning of the year, the very first day, it's okay, because I didn't. The very first couple of days, I was still like, blah, but girl, once you start thinking of what you really want to get done, you're going to get that energy. You're going to get it. I promise. Okay, so that is it. I really just wanted to focus on the skin because, you know, that's really what I'm about. So sorry if y'all were looking for an eye look. I'm going to be putting on some lashes now, and I'm using the Double Up Ardell lashes. And I've used these lashes before, and I really like them. They're super inexpensive, and they give you, they give me the nice kind of like, natural but volume and pop of lashes at the same time so i'm gonna pop these on and be right back all right y'all so i went ahead and popped the lashes on and then i went ahead and used this shade in the palette this brown shade called old fashioned right here and i just went ahead and put it on my bottom lash line and i put some bottom mascara on as well so now we need to go on to highlight and I don't have a new drugstore highlight, but I do have a drugstore highlight. So let me get it. 
Okay, so, so I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Golden Flower Crown Highlight. It's so pretty. This is a really good drugstore highlighter. And then I'm going to spray my highlighter brush as well. I feel like that really helps with the application of the highlight too. And then I kind of go like this in my hand so it's not like super wet. Oh my gosh, I forgot how good this highlighter was. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all see that? Sis. I'm just like shook over here at how bomb every single one of these products have been. Like I have no complaints with any of these products. So I do want to add a little bit to my eyes. I just want to add some shimmer. So I'm going to take the same palette again if I can get it open. I'm going to use this shade right here called Citrus. It's like a um, peachy type of gold. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow, that's so pretty. So I don't have a drugstore lip liner, so I'm just going to use this lip liner from, I believe the brand is Lipland, and it's kind of like this nice, soft, peachy, pinkish. Now I'm going to go in with this Milani Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Champagne. It's just a really nice nude. Never tried it, so hopefully, it's like a, it's supposed to be like a lip, lip plumping lip gloss. You can feel the plumpingness. I do wish I went in with a darker lip liner, so I'm going to go in with MAC Strip Down Lip Liner to kind of line it a little bit more. So I don't think this is a setting spray, but I just love the way, I feel like this is really helping the way my skin is looking. And since I went in with like a MAC concealer and the powder is kind of like a little bit on the matte side and the bronzer was a little bit on the matte side, I feel like I don't really have to set my face with a setting spray. So I really like this, like... I really like this. I definitely would repurchase this after I used it all. All of these products I would, most definitely. So this is the final look and I am so impressed by all of these products. Like, I think this is by far the best outcome I've had with drugstore products, all drugstore products. Like, all of these products are just affordable and the fact that they're all drugstore and you literally can pick these up. I got all these products from Walgreens. That's where I got all of these products. Um, and like, I just, I literally look beat. Like my face, my, my, this definitely is full coverage. Like there is nothing showing through. Like it's super full coverage. And I just realized I did not put my moles back on. I'm so happy with the way that this came out. And I will make sure I list everything down in the description for you guys. I know I'm horrible at it, but I will make sure I do this because I really want y'all to try these products and go out there and get them and get you a beat face for inexpensive. So that's the end of this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and you're new to my channel. Also like this video for me. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below. You guys know I respond to you. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.